Inside Tech Soma, we are taking a look at troops first and how to put our military really first in line and first in our hearts. Can you share a little bit about this new program that's kicking off in the fall? What we're hoping is that 30 or 40 years from now, Wichitans will still be standing aside and letting a uniformed military take their place in life. Let everybody in the military in uniform have your place in life. You don't have to be first in line. You could be in the middle of the line. But let them have your place in line and support them, our installation at Shepherd Air Force. And we're going to take a closer look at how to do just that and more how to honor our troops. It all starts right now on Inside Tech Soma. Good morning, Texoma. I'm Ashley Fitzwater. Thanks for joining us this morning. We are taking a look at a new campaign kicking off right here in Wichita Falls called Troops First. It's already expanding all over Texoma. It's a way that you can really take time to honor our military personnel, especially those at Shepherd Air Force Base. And joining me now to talk about Troops First is Carla Boland. She is the Vice President for Community-Wide Marketing with the Wichita Falls Chamber of Commerce and Industry and Wichita Falls Mayor. Glenn Barham, we appreciate both of you being here today to talk about such an exciting event. I know this is something that we were all excited to hear about here at News Channel 6. And can you just start, I guess, from the very beginning and what people need to know about this new program? Well, the very beginning is um, my son and I went to Chicago, and we were standing in line at the Sears Tower. And, of course, that's a huge line. Um, the, the line kept parting because my son was in a naval uniform. And we ended up about 10th from the front. And I remember thinking, I was so touched by that, I almost teared up. And I still remember Chicago, hmm. that they did that. And take my place, sir, take my place, sir, take my place, sir. And it was so impressive. And I came home, so about a month ago, I said, we need to be doing this at Shepherd. We need to be doing this in Wichita Falls, mm -hmm. Texas. Sometimes you see uh, someone in, in uniform, and you may not feel comfortable going up to just talk to them mm -hmm. and say thank you. But this is something nonverbal you can say. Um, so we hope the entire community adopts it. And it's just exactly what you're saying, correct? Troops first, letting them in front of you in line, wherever it may be, correct? That's correct. Uh, it's not necessarily moving them to the front of the line, but if you're in line, let them take your place in line and step back. And uh, you, know, you could run into a situation where you upset somebody if you move them to the first of the line. So let them take your place in line. And chances are somebody ahead of you will say, mm -hmm. come on up, come on up. And I think it's a great, a great program for our troops, and it's, it's the least we can do to uh, let them know that we appreciate their sacrifices. And Shepherd is such a big part of this community. I mean, there's no doubt. You know, anytime you think of Wichita Falls, a lot of time you think of Shepherd Air Force Base, or people do. So when you first heard about this, what was your response? Oh, I immediately thought it was a great idea. Since I've been on council for four years, we have a lot of involvement with activities out at Shepherd, And, you know, I always had a good feeling for, for military folks prior to getting on council. But once I got on council and really interacted with them on an almost daily basis, if, you know, it, it just pointed out to me what they really do for our community, for our state, and for our country, and the sacrifices involved from those folks in the military. Not just here at Shepherd, but Marine Corps, mm -hmm. Army, Navy, and Coast Guard as well. And I know you're mentioning look for the ones in uniform, which also has kind of a double special meaning here because you were saying they're often the new ones here in town. So why is that important to focus on the new ones who are coming into our community? Well, they won't all be new, uh, particularly the ones who are in fatigues will, or camouflage will not be new. But the, the kids you see, and I call them kids because I'm old, <laughs> But the, in, in the blue um, are, are very new to Wichita Falls. And we have about 17,000 of those come through our Air Force Base every year. So what better ambassadorship could we offer than to tell them, welcome to Wichita Falls, and, 
and if you want to go in the movie theater, I'll stand back and let you go. It's not just um, it's not just their sacrifice either. A lot of them have families mm -hmm. who are having to do without them for this period of time. That's a good point. You know, sometimes you we forget maybe even about the family. So or is that what you're encouraging too? If they're with their wife or their children, let them all in front of you. Is that kind of what we're doing is is making it totally up to the community. We want this to be a community initiative, and so whatever is feasible if that at that moment. Someone was joking yesterday that they would, we would let them advance to the front of the line to pay their uh, t parking tickets. <laughs> so they might not want to do that. So it's whenever feasible, but uh, but we think it's a, a good positive step, and we think Wichitans will adopt it. Talking a little bit about how long this program is going to be taking place. It's already kicked off. Can you tell us the dates that you're really emphasizing this? I know it's not something you need to stop it at this day, but what's kind of the, the length of this particular Troops First? Well, we're very proud that uh, in the City Council meeting they adopted a resolution supporting Troops First, and we appreciate the Council for doing that. So that really puts it down on a city record that, that we would like to do this uh, continuously. But our dates for this are June 1st, through September the 11th. We know that there will be a lot of tributes and memorable things that go on during uh, September the 11th because it is the 10th anniversary of, um, of the World Trade Center. So we would like to tie this in with that uh, appreciation. Absolutely. And are businesses or others getting involved? Because I know there's billboards, there's stickers, there's different signs you're going to be seeing to remind you of this throughout town. Can you tell us how the community is also getting involved in that aspect? A lot of businesses have stepped forward and said, we want a sticker, uh, we want them on our cash register, we want them on our front door. We, uh, we want to co-sponsor one of the messages. We have some running on television and radio that are sponsored by businesses. So we want to get the businesses involved. If they need uh, stickers, they can certainly call the Chamber of Commerce, and we have plenty. Um, so everyone can become involved. I think it's just a matter of getting the logo uh, recognized over a period of time. Absolutely. And I'd really like to hear from both of you before we take a break. What's the feedback you've already heard about this? From Shepherd, maybe, or maybe just from someone else in the community. What have you heard about this idea? Well, on the uh, we have a Facebook page, mm -hmm. and it's called Troops First. And so the people who've come onto that Facebook page have have thanked us, have said it's a wonderful idea. I did get a call yesterday from San Antonio. They consider themselves to be a very uh, big military community, mm -hmm. and they were not happy that we thought this <laughs> up. They said, we may steal this from you. Is that all right? And I said, absolutely, it's okay. So I think other cities may adopt it as well. That's, that's, that's great, and that's great to hear the Wichita Falls setting the example here. Yes, it is, and it's all thanks to <laughs> Carla here. She's the driving force behind this, this in initiative. But the cities of Iowa Park, Burpinette, and Electra, I'm confident will uh, pass resolutions in the near future supporting this program as well. I've, I've seen the resolution that Iowa Park is going to pass it, it, or present at their next council meeting, and I'm, I'm certain that Burpinette and, and Electra will follow suit as well. So we've got not only just Wichita Falls, but the entire county mm -hmm. involved in this initiative. And uh, you know, like, as I said earlier, it's the least that we can do for our troops to give them an opportunity to move closer to the head of the line. Absolutely. Such a great thing. And I love how it's already become a Tex Homa event pretty much where not only just Wichita Falls, but like you said, the other cities taking part in this as well. Well, we need to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Inside Tex Homa. Welcome back to Inside Texoma. We are talking about troops first, really putting our troops first, basically, in line and just showing ways to appreciate them here in Wichita Falls and the surrounding areas. And once again, I'm joined with Carla Bolin and Mayor Glenn Barham sharing just a little bit about this that's taking place, already kicked off. Something, though, that I find interesting is it's expanding off of Pride in the Falls, something we've heard a lot about 
and that you're spearheading. So can you tell us a little more about how it's connected to Pride in the Falls? Pride in the Falls was um, an idea that came about as a result of our rebranding in our 2020 um, master plan. And part of that uh, objective was for us to really look at our community and see ourselves as citizens, what is so wonderful. Yes, it's, it's the lack of traffic. Yes, it's the beautiful medians. Yes, it's the Air Force Base, certainly, the, the NATO pilots, the uh, number of sunny days we have. So there are all kinds of things, higher education opportunities. But number one on that list really is Shepherd Air Force Base. We could not operate well as a city without Shepherd Air Force Base. So uh, that became a, a project of pride is to remind people that Shepherd is part of us, and we are part of Shepherd. How long did it take when you first kind of thought of this idea to really make it all come into play to what it is today? About four weeks. Wow. Very quickly. Uh, once we had the name and what we wanted to do, it fell together very quickly because it was really a win-win. And I love the, the slogan that's underneath it, too. First in our hearts, first in line. So... I yes, it's that. really pretty self-explanatory. We uh, didn't take the Air Force wings exactly, but we did an adaptation of that on the mm -hmm. logo and put a little angelic um, cast to it so it looks like it's a benevolent activity. I love it. It's such a great thing. And, you know, we just kind of wanted to ask everyone who came on today what the military really means to you. And, you know, I know it ties back into this and Troops First and the passion that's being driven behind this project. So. What does the military really mean to you, maybe on a personal level? Well, of course, I have family members everywhere who, who served in the military. My father is still alive, and he was on a submarine during World War II in the Pacific. So uh, we probably, most of us, have someone in the military. But I want to stress that, in my opinion, our military personnel are our best and our brightest. When we're talking about Air Force personnel, they are the cream of the crop. Those, that's the best that our generation can offer. Mm -hmm. So we need to, uh, I, I think it's very important to salute that and salute the fact that they're continuing their education and their learning and they're growing and all of the wonderful things they do besides just serve in the field mm -hmm. while they're in the military. Absolutely. What about you, Mayor? You know, Ashley, uh, the military folks, they're why this country is what it is today. They're the ones that made the sacrifices and, and fought the wars and fought the battles. Uh, when I graduated from high school way back in 1969, I was a young, strapping kid that, that wanted to go off to college. And, of course, the Vietnam War was in, right in the middle of that time period. And you know, I weighed probably 130 pounds soaking wet when I graduated <laughs> from high school. And, last thing I wanted to do was go to Vietnam. But I didn't go to Canada. I went to college instead, and, and I was fortunate enough to get a, a very high draft number when the lottery came up. And, and I didn't have to go to Vietnam, and I didn't serve in the military. And at, it, at several DAV functions and, and veterans events that I've attended, I've let those folks know that that's one of the biggest regrets I have in my lifetime, is not having served in the military. Because the camaraderie of the military, the, the contacts you make in the military, they're lifelong friends. Uh, they're lifelong colleagues. And uh, the, the educational uh, situations that are available in the military can't be beat, even by some of our best colleges. The education that you can attain in the military is second to none. And uh, so it is a, re a regret of mine. I do have family that have served in the military. I've got a cousin that fought in the first Iraq war way back in the early 90s. And I've got a brother that served in the Army. And, uh, you know, so I know a little bit what it's like. But as I mentioned earlier, uh, having interacted with folks at Shepherd in the last four years really, really instills a, an appreciation for what they do. Absolutely. Well, again, we are very excited about this and we appreciate both of you coming on today to share more about how the community can get involved in really putting our troops first. So thanks again for your time. and know letting us know about this we thank you it. thank you and we are going to be right back with more inside Texoma, including hearing from shepherd air force base we'll be back after the break
And welcome back to Inside Texoma. Joining me now right now is Second Lieutenant Sarah Harper. She is with Shepherd Air Force Base, yes, the 82nd Training Wing Public Affairs. We appreciate you being here today to talk with us about Troops First. Oh, well, thank you for having us. Absolutely. And, you know, we're talking about Troops First. It's just a program, like we mentioned earlier, to really honor our military. And we just thought it would be neat to kind of get an insight from Shepherd Air Force Base about how much of a difference, like a small gesture, like letting someone in front of you in line, could really make in the lives of the men and women on the base. Yes, honestly, it's the small things that mean the most to the men and women in the military. Just a simple thank you for your service. Just um, out at Walmart or at a restaurant, you know, thank you for serving in the military. That's what means the most, and just the fact that the community um, recognizes and um, supports Shepherd Air Force Base in the military and the armed service just means so much to us. So if we want to let someone in front of us in line, that would be a great gesture then, correct, do you think? Yes, that um, time is precious for everyone, <laughs> and just the fact that you know everyone is busy and um, that someone would take time out of their day to thank a military member just uh, that uh, just means so much and just says so much about the Wichita Falls community. And I think that's nice to hear because sometimes there are things you want to do, you know, for maybe the military to show them how much you appreciate. And I like how you said, even just a simple thank you. If we walk up and say thank you or we let them in line, I like hearing that that means a lot, you know. Oh, it really does. It really does. What about the Shepherd Air Force Base in general? Have you heard how just the base feels about this program that's getting underway? Well, this is a, yet another um, another way that we just recognize how wonderful our community is, that uh, they support us and um, appreciate what we do for them. Um, it's just great to know that they um, are behind us and um, just very thankful and blessed to be in a community that um, supports the military like they do. What are some other small things? You know, we talked about going up and saying thank you or maybe letting someone in front of you in line. Are there other small things that we can do as a community to really show, you know, the military, we appreciate them. We appreciate the job that's done, you know, every day. Honestly, the community already does so much. Um, personally, um, I just entered active duty in November, and so I was driving out here to Wichita Falls, my first station, and I saw the billboards. You know, I saw the... Um, signs, you know, thank you for those who serve. Um, we support our troops. And that was just such a welcoming thing for me that I noticed, you know, wow, this community is, you know, very, they support the military. And that was my first impression of Wichita Falls. So, honestly, the community so, does so much for us, and I'm just uh, proud to serve the community in the military. So I guess also the little stickers that you're going to be seeing in the windows, those are a great other way to, to show thanks then, too, because it kind of goes back to the billboards that you saw. We support our troops. Correct. Yes, all that is very encouraging, uh, very encouraging to the military. I know that will also be encouraging then for the businesses to hear and just another way that the community can get involved and really show the military their appreciation for all the hard work and, you know, especially those here at Shepherd Air Force Base, I think that's very important as well. Is there anything else you can add about the efforts being made? I love how you said just driving into town. How long have you been here? Well, I arrived in November and I've been in training on and off since then and so, um, I've been here and I've just really enjoyed my time getting to know people downtown, you know, and as well as um, the men and women in the military that I serve with, and it's been an awesome experience. So it's already been just a short time, and already I love how you're saying the community is leaving a lasting impression on you, showing how important the military really is to Wichita Falls, and I know the surrounding cities. I definitely don't want to leave them out because, you know, as of Texoma as a whole, I yes, know really the whole Texoma region. So, they, I mean, it goes above and beyond. Um, I'm just so lucky to be stationed here at a place that the community is so welcoming. Is there any other thoughts that you can share or, you know, any other thing that you would like to say just to kind of encourage people, you know, to, to get out there and do it? I know it kind of just goes back to what you were saying. Don't think any action's too small, I guess, correct? Gosh, well, there are, I mean, Wichita Falls and the Texoma region has already done so much and just simple things like the thank you and just that they acknowledge people who serve in the military and that they support the troops and that, um, that they appreciate what we do on a daily basis just means so much for uh, military members. Well, Sarah, we really do appreciate everything and I appreciate you taking time to be here with thank us today so to give us an insight and, um, you know, again, we just want to thank everyone for the job, the hard job that you do every day, so we appreciate it. And we need to take a quick break, but we'll, of course, be right back with more Inside Texoma.
Welcome back to Inside Tech Summer. We've been talking about troops first, and now we're going to turn to another event that's also tied to the military and yes. really helping to honor the military in so many ways as well. Joining me now is Fred Dorsey, and he is the event coordinator of Rock in the Falls. And mm -hmm. this is a big event here in Wichita Falls. I know if you've been around this area any time, you've probably heard about it or attended the event or seen some of the fundraising for it. And before we get started really talking about the event, I want to mention that this is actually going to be benefiting Heroes at Home, which helps disabled military personnel. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I know you're going to explain a lot about that, but going back to the event, Rock in the Falls, it's a fun way to get involved, correct, in yes. the community. Uh -huh. uh, we've been doing this, well, it's, this is our uh, seventh year. Uh, we first started out there as, a, as a, a, a small little bunch of bands that decided to want to make a difference in the community. And... Uh, it's uh, culminated to uh, two different things. First, it was relief aid, and we did did some things back in 2004 with the tsunami, and it's just blown up all the way up to 2011 now to uh, Rock in the Falls. We just uh, renamed it and about three years back. And uh, right now, we're just uh, uh, trying to get bigger and better and everything like that, and uh, get uh, more recognized and everything. So um, what uh, we're actually doing is uh, we benefit different charities every year, and this year uh, we decide to do something for the military. And the military is... Uh, 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 I work at uh, Sears, and so they have a uh, organization called Heroes at Home. And Heroes at Home is an organization that builds uh, rents for disabled veterans, and also active personnel to come back from Iraq and Afghanistan. Just really making it possible for them to come home. Yes, if they've been injured, they can go right back into their home. Such yes, a great thing. What really made you choose this program this year? I mean, was it a story that you heard? Was it, you know, a military member you had talked to about how important this is? What was it that made you select this? Well, um, uh, since I was... Uh, since I am a, a contractor at Sears and everything like that, I looked into their program and researched it and everything, and it was it was something that was uh, also kind of near and dear to our hearts, us uh, being involved with the military and everything. So uh, we decided to kind of roll with it. Yeah. Something that Wichita Falls is definitely used to, you know, supporting our military, like we talked about with the troops first and Shepard being right here. So yes, yes, I think it's a great thing that really ties in this year. Talking a little more about Rock in the Falls, the event itself, mm -hmm. it's actually coming up in, you know, less than or just a little bit over than a week, I guess. So yeah, tell us the too. date and where this is going to be taking place. It'll be uh, June the 25th. It'll be at Ray Climber uh, Exhibit Hall. And uh, the doors will open at 4 o'clock. And uh, the bands will hit the stage at 5. And uh, also uh, the... Uh, Admission is uh, in advance is only ten dollars. At the at the uh, front door, it'll be fifteen. Uh, so uh, you can get your advance tickets uh, at uh, a lot of places here in town. Um, if you look at the flyers and everything that we're putting out, uh, and you can also get them at ITT at uh, Shepherd Air Force Base also. Okay, so a lot of different places that you can. Go to pick up one of these tickets, save a little money, and come out and support Rock in the Falls and also help support our military as mm -hmm. well. In the, in the meantime, through all this, is there a goal that you're hoping to reach or an well, amount you're hoping to raise? It, uh, as much as we can, <laughs> really, uh, because, uh, you know, we uh, like to, we like to uh, be able to uh, uh, donate as much money as we can and everything. And uh, also... Um, um, we've got uh, like two or three other places. Uh, we, well, you can pick them up to the bots office at the MPEC also, and uh, Digital Deviants downtown. And uh, we also uh, have uh, the the uh, the railhead in Lawton. Uh, we we also are getting a lot of feedback because we do have some bands from Lawton also. And that's a great thing. Uh -huh. great so that thing way we can well. have Fort Sill and sure. Shepherd kind of involved in this also. Is there, kind of going back to the bands that are taking the stage, how many different bands and what kind of music are you We have the, this is the most varied show I've ever put on. 
uh, it starts grindcore, and then it goes to uh, uh, punk rock, and then it goes to metal, and then it goes to uh, it, uh, Chicago horn band, black, and uh, uh, another band that Shay Fish. They 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 sound like Pink Floyd, and uh, then uh, we have a Christian rock band called Red- Redefine the Fall, and. Uh, they are a very good group. I think they're going to be the next breakout group out of Wichita Falls. Wow, that's awesome. Love to hear that. Well, such a great thing. And again, we appreciate you being here today to talk about this event coming up and encourage people to go out and get those tickets in advance mm-hmm. and really get out there and support Rock in the Falls okay. this year. So yes, thank ma'am. you so much, Fred. We appreciate your time again for being here. And we want to say thanks to you, Tag Selma, for joining us this morning. As always, we hope to see you back here next Sunday for another look inside Tag Selma.